when it comes to valuation, right? Because you said that basically uh, tokens is, is available, right? Yes. Token is available. Yes. Now, when it comes to issue of valuations, right? Uh, is it basically purely a market-driven valuation, or is it basically uh, driven by, for instance, uh, net asset value? Is in the context of uh, unit trust scheme, for instance, because there is basically a net asset value that basically uh, uh, benchmark against uh, the price of, of the so called units or not. But yes. in this context, since the project is basically a development project, right? Yeah. It's not something that's liquid, yes. uh, there's no like, mark to market on a daily basis, for instance. Yes. Right? So, how do you guide the, the pricing of, of those tokens? Okay. So this, this happens or starts off at the point of instrumenting, when the fund manager actually instruments. So example, one mil has to, has to be raised, so at that time, the, the fund manager decides how many tokens to mint. Similarly, when you go for IPO, based on the net asset valuation, how many shares do you want to issue, right? Very similar formula. So the number of tokens, right, issued, so if total one mil is required as a capital, either you want to issue one mil tokens, one dollar valued at each, or you want to issue one bill, 10 cents or one cent each value, okay? So that's at the point of issuance. Now, once it goes into an exchange, right, uh, post the purchase, it goes into an exchange. From there, it becomes independent performance based on two things, which you pointed out. One is the net asset value. Net asset value grows based on the development of the project and the revenue worthiness and profitability of the project, okay? Second is the demand and supply of that token itself, or you can say share or sukuk itself. Now, if the project is highly in demand, right? Meaning uh, late investors also want to come in, meaning the token or the smart contract demand is high. On the exchange, the valuation will jump up because of demand and supply. People who are holding it are not going to let go. People who want to buy are going to bid higher and higher and higher until they acquire. So that smart contract or the token price just keeps going up. So here there is no speculation. It is market driven. Okay, purely market driven. Because you know the real value, you can bid higher, right? So it is a, uh, you know, uh, buyers and sellers market.